and welcome back to my channel. This is Jen and um, I am One Girl Creates and I am back today with another Friday Sews um, on a Saturday, obviously. Um, I would have done it yesterday, but yesterday got a bit chaotic for some unknown reason. Things just kept going a bit wrong. So machines weren't playing with, nicely with me. Overlockers weren't playing nicely with me. Computers weren't playing nicely with me. So nothing happened yesterday. Uh, well, I say nothing happened. I got there in the end. My, my intention was to finish my dress and I did. But um, but yeah, technology was not playing the game yesterday. So I may have said a few sweary words while I was sewing. Um, my husband may have steered clear of my little room. Um, but that's beside the point. <clears throat> anyway. I am back today and um, so I have got a couple of items that I've made this week as I said last week I needed to complete my busy bees challenge uh, top from Carol so I have done that um, this is the top that she asked me or she got me to make um, the fabric is actually one that I got from Carol when she came to my sewing day and I thought it was quite appropriate I could play with the stripes and uh, I thought it was quite appropriate to use her um, fabric for the top. So I love the play of the stripes. I really like that. Um, now, I think it's because the pattern is, it is quite a loose pattern. And because I'm quite a busty girl, it asks you to go to obviously a certain size. Now, um, I didn't really have the opportunity when I was cutting this out to think about things like upper bust measurements and stuff like that. I probably could size down one and normally in Simplicity and Butterick, etc., all the big four patterns, I do size down because I find that they come with a lot of ease, but I didn't really have time to look at it. So I did just cut this out before I went on holiday. And then as you know, my sewing machine died and I had to fix it. So I made the top as is, it is wearable. I can wear it. Um, it does unfortunately make me look quite busty if it's not tucked in. So I will insert some photos, um, one side or the other, and uh, and show you what it looks like in and out. Um, but it's definitely a top I have to tuck in. Um, it goes really nicely with my navy uh, sapphire trousers. And um, I will definitely be able to wear this to work. Sorry, the dogs are screeching. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I will be able to wear this to work. Um, it's just, it probably is just a little bit bigger than I would normally like. And it is one of the reasons why I don't normally go for a line that goes above the bust because what happens is the fabric seems to sort of just sort of hang over it. It's a bit random. Um, I think this is not helped by the fact, I think there's some polyester in this fabric. I'm not certain. Claire, um, Carol might be able to help me with it, but when I iron it, it does hold the crease a little bit, but then after a while, like I ironed this hem, and then after a while, it's gone a bit bouncy. So I think there might be some poly in there, I'm not certain, but it doesn't matter. It's a completely wearable top. I will wear this to school um, and yeah, really good. So I'm very pleased. I completed the, the outfit the, or the item, unfortunately not in the time. However, I am persevering, I will be, um, making my challenge two thing this week, which is to convert a um, something from, what's the word I'm looking for? Something from a charity shop, something that is not necessarily um, an, the item that I am going to, or not something I'm, the item I'm going to make. So I can't do an alteration. I have to do something that is completely different. So I have got an idea in mind. Um, I do have a Roman blind that I started to make um and i didn't finish it so i'm actually going to use that fabric and make a um make something out of it i'm not going to tell you what i'm going to make out of it but anyway so i will um i will show you the fabric in the the vlog about the busy bee challenge i think but this is my top for the busy bee challenge and i did finally complete it ladies i'm so sorry that it's so late um unfortunately time did get away with me as usual as it does but anyway we got there in the end Woo so the next item i had to make so you may remember i said to you i have a wedding to go to this week and i need to wear a I need to make a dress but it is also a black tie wedding so it is a long formal dress um 
This is not something that is unusual to me. I do go to a reasonable amount of black tie events. I have another one at the end of September with the first one in a year and a half, actually. But my father-in-law goes to a lot of these sort of events, so we often go along with him. And um, so this dress will do double duty for that. I will wear this for the wedding and for this event that's coming up. Um, but what I have made is, and if you excuse the hanger, it was the only one I could find last night once I finished. I have made the Tammy Handmade Raj dress, but I have, uh, you probably can see, shortened the sleeves. And I have not added a tear. It is a long do, 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 if I can find the bottom, it is a long skirt and I have put in a kick pleat, well, a long kick pleat, but a kick pleat at the back. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I will insert a picture of it on. This is the only photo I actually have of it at the moment. My husband took this for me um, last night and I have got, I've got a really busy weekend this weekend. So it's a bit of, I'm just trying to get this film so that I put something out for you and you can see what I've been up to this week. Um, but this afternoon, I'm getting my nails done and then I'm going straight over to Catherine from Soberton Makery's house because she's giving us afternoon tea because she's absolutely lovely. It is her last social this evening and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody. I didn't get to go last time, so it's been a couple of months since I've been. The lovely Claire from Stitch Hem So will be there, Adam from Adam Sews and Anna from You Got Me In Stitches and Slash Pat and Pouch Nest. So I'm really looking forward to this afternoon. Hence, I'm wearing a reasonably dressy dress on a Saturday, which is quite unusual for me because I'm normally in my trackies and T-shirts. Um, but yes, I'm really looking forward to seeing them because it's been quite a while and I do really love to catch up with them. It's just so much fun. Um, but anyway, back to the dress. Sorry. <laughs> Tammy Handmade Raj. So I got this done last night and I um, I needed to get it finished last night because I have absolutely no time really today unless I took it with me to the sewing social, which I could have done, but I would rather not leave it that late. So I made sure I got it done last night with a little bit of swearing and um, we got there in the end. It is a, I don't know if you know about the, the Tammy Handmade bodice, but actually she encloses everything and has it as a lined bodice anyway, which is perfect. Um, and it's got, an elasticated waist which actually sits just under my bust now i think it's because i'm busty and it should actually be a bit lower but actually i quite like it at that area because that is my smallest point and when i wear my blue version of this that i've got for work mm. i always get compliments so i um i didn't really change up much i thought i was just gonna straighten the skirt which i did and shorten the sleeves um the sleeves on the original pattern are three quarter length and while I have got them on my blue dress that I use for work I don't actually like that length of sleeve on me yeah, and I don't like elastic around there it it's I mean I, I could make the elastic longer but actually I don't think that's the, the point I don't actually like a sleeve that that's long I either feel it's too short and I get cold or it's it's just in my way and it's annoying me so I may well do may well shorten them to the the short sleeves that I've made on this one here um because I would rather have either short sleeves or sleeves down to my wrist three quarter length sleeves just wind me up because I'm a little bit fussy um so yeah that is my dress the fabric was from more sewing in Worthing um and as I've said before they have an a um Facebook not Facebook page well, they may it may have a Facebook page. They have a website, sorry, that you can order from. Um, this fabric is in other places as well. It is a beautifully soft viscose. Um, and I, yeah, I love it. I really do like this fabric. Um, it's quite unusual for me having such a big pattern. It's normally something that I would have, I'd have quite a small pattern over or something that is dense like this one. So it doesn't really matter. You're not going to have like pockets, but this is actually quite a, a an open pattern, which is very unusual for me. But I just fell in love with the colours and the sort of, I don't know, is it Chinesey, cherry blossomy, that sort of vibe. I just loved it. Love the pattern, love the fabric. Really, really, really pleased that I've gone with it. And um, I do actually really like the dress. I feel like I don't look too bad in it so <laughs> there you go um but that's the only things that I've made this week I have bought some wool to try and make myself another cardigan like my pink cardigan that is the Ashley Lily Ashley Lillis I think it's the springside cardigan 
There's either the everyday cardigan or the springside cardigan. I think it's the springside cardigan that I'm making. Um, but I've made, I've got it in grey because actually, when I realised, when I looked at this, I realised that I've actually got quite a lot of tops that are, that have grey elements in them and that a grey cardigan. I did used to have one, which I lost at uni, which really annoyed me. Um, but I, I need a grey cardigan, basically. I've got a lot of elements that have got grey in them and would suit quite ha having a grey cardigan. So, um, including this. So, yeah, I have decided this week I'm going to start and make a cardigan. Um, my plans for this week are to try and create some outfits from the, uh, the items I've made. So, for example, my Donny shirt that I made the other week... Um, I haven't got any trousers particularly that go with them, but I do have royal blue fabric with the intention of making trousers and I haven't got round to it. Um, those royal blue trousers will also go with another top that's in my wardrobe. Um, and it's things like that that I need to just sort of put together and make so that I've got a number of different outfits that I can wear to school. I will be back in school this week setting up my classroom, although um, I've done a lot of the planning at home this week. So I've sort of printed out my my headers for my thing, my um, boards and stuff like that and laminated them and all that sort of malarkey. So it should be the first day, just a case of going in there and sticking those up and then getting on the computer and seeing what I need to do for my planning. Um, but I'm not planning on spending all day, every day there. I still have some holidays and I still need to keep those holidays. Otherwise, I will quickly lose my mind. Um, and also, I have a child to spend time with. And this week, although he's been on his computer, I've been sat next to him quite a lot. And we've been talking about what he's been playing. And we've still had a lot of time together, which has been really, really nice. Um, and unfortunately, that is the way of my son. He is a... You know, I can't even say much about it. I'm a computer geek as well. We, we all like our, our technology in this house. And it's it's one of those things. He's a 10 year old boy. He likes his computer games. Um, but we will hopefully spend some more time this week. He's going to come into my school because he hasn't yet seen it this week. So he's going to come in with me. And um, yeah, it's going to be one of those weeks. So I'm hoping I'll get some sewing done. Hopefully I will find my sojo. I did spend a couple of days just getting rid of the never ending cold that was plaguing me at the end of last week um and yeah we are hopefully touch wood hopefully all better again in this house so um yeah it's all good um and then as i say this weekend it's a busy one um i have the, the sofa to makery social this evening and then tomorrow i will be watching the lionesses roar and hopefully win the world cup um, if you are not a follower of, of football or as the Americans call it, soccer, um, the England women's team have reached the World Cup final. And I absolutely, I don't know if I actually have ever said this to you, but I love sport. So I am not necessarily good at sport, sports that involve any kind of ball. I have absolutely zero hand-eye coordination and very little foot-eye coordination, but I love to watch them and I love to support them. And apparently my son says I shout too loud when I'm watching them, but I will be watching our lionesses roar and shouting them on and cheering them on, possibly while I'm driving to the wedding because the wedding is in the afternoon. So the game starts at 11 a.m. or 11.30. 11 a.m. I think it's 11 a.m. and um, the wedding starts at 2.30 and it's a good half an hour drive away from me so I may have to watch the final 10-15 minutes in my car or listen to it in my car and um, hopefully hopefully get to see them lift the World Cup that would be amazing um, and then yeah wedding tomorrow afternoon with all my uni mates I am really looking forward to seeing them all it's been a little bit of a while actually since I've seen them all and um, in fact, I think it was the last day of term. So last day at uni that was the last time I actually saw most of them. I saw the bride um, a couple of times, but I haven't seen anyone else. So I am really looking forward to that. And then the same Monday, I'm back in school. So it's it's one of those weeks. It's not too busy, not too bad. I should hopefully be able to get some sewing done. Hopefully now that my sojo is back, machines are hopefully all working. Overlocker is no longer being a demon and, and everything else. I can get some sewing done. So there we go. And I may even be able to show you a bit of my cardigan at the end of next week, hopefully. 
so there we go um thank you so much for watching if you have liked what you've seen then please do hit the subscribe button hit that like button and please leave a comment i do try and answer everybody um if i do miss it i do apologize it's not intentional it's just that it's just one of those things but yeah i do try and reply to everybody and uh, and i hope you all have a lovely rest of the weekend and a lovely week until next friday so thank you bye Thank you.